This is Okbo, the center and heart of all Amabro local government area of Kogi State. trees and a homely people, Opo from a far glance had it all but one. It had no roads. The roads stretching from Opo all through Ibana to Ogugu, Ikeje and Ete were a nightmare and the greatest plea of its people through successive administrations in Kogi state. Being a road that linked several parts of the local government, it was a vital need of the people. But all attempts and pleas for its construction did not yield for well over a decade before 2016, despite successive governors of the state originating from Kogi East, until the advent of the new direction administration of Governor Yahya Bello. This is a gathering of traditional rulers, contractors and indigenes of Olamaboro local government area of Kogi State, where the state governor Yahya Bello has come to flag up the 32-kilometer road at the cost of 2.8 billion naira. Governor Yahya Bello awarded the contract for the construction of the Ibana Opo Ikeje Ogugu Ete Road in October 2016, barely nine months after resuming office as governor of the state. Now, just about nine months in office, he listened to the well over a decade cry of the people. Many thought the flag off was a political move to sway emotions and raise hopes, but it was not as construction began immediately and the nearly 40-kilometer road was completed. Today, Opo wears a new look with its roads in perfect condition. The easy flow of traffic has lessened travel time on the road for commuters and dealt with the scourge of accidents caused by bad roads. A trip through the town, all the way through Ibana and Ikeje, takes you to another wonderland. Ogugu. What you now see is the new Ogugu. The old Ogugu was a red sand and dust laden community. Hmm, <laughs> With no roads, Ogugu was no place to travel through in comfort. Today, travelers go into the eastern parts of Nigeria, ply the road, as it saves them time and the dangers of their vehicles breaking down due to bad roads. Beyond the main town road, all the roads within the town have been constructed, giving it an altogether new and befitting look. <laughs> Now, this is a town that never dreamt of such enormous infrastructural development before now. The quality of the work reflects the excellent taste and standards of Governor Yahya Bello. Today, what was once a dream not only is their present reality, but one that was made real by a governor who is not Igala, nor from Kogi East extraction. But I joy, I come and join you, and I 
ojo ki adugo ma mala ayan olukoro aya the nearly 40 kilometer ibana okpo ikeje ogugu ete road as part of the many projects awarded and executed by the new direction administration of governor yahya bello across Kogi state in his first channel in line with his rural development goal for the state focused on bringing development first to rural areas neglected over the years.